we are now in Klöfta and you know today I'm gonna test uh, air conditioning versus cracked windows open so um, you know Mistbusters they've already tested this long time ago and in their test on a closed track with the fossil car or actually two fossil cars they concluded that uh, not using air conditioning but having the windows open was more efficient uh, but I question their method of testing because they use two cars and there could be some difference in the two cars uh, So at least in my test, I will use the same car, but just different, uh, you know, different parameters uh, But there is some uh, traffic today, so we cannot avoid that and we have to do this in midday It's uh, half an hour past noon and it is 24 degrees Celsius outside, which is considered kind of hot in Norway Yeah, so um, you no, know, I'm gonna test. I have to have range mode on because uh, I don't want the the battery heater to switch off and mess mess up with the results. And then we're going to test 100 kilometers per hour uh, run and 70 kilometers per hour run. So the 100 kilometers per hour, the high speed, well high ish speed, is to simulate you know highway driving, whereas the lower speed is like urban driving. Uh, and I will test with air conditioning on and off and also with the windows. We have three tests, so we're gonna come back to that, but uh, let's start with the first test. So the parameters of the first test is uh, windows are up and uh, we use climate control, set it to 20 degrees Celsius, AC compressor is on, and then I manually set some of these. This one is automatic, and then I set the fan speed to five, so that seems to give me the best comfort in the car. So in this test, I use the, the shotgun microphone and not the lavalier microphone because I want to catch some of the ambient noise. But you can hear that in this test, because the windows are up, then we have pretty nice and silent environment in here. All right, here we come to the turning point. So let's turn back and then check the results. Well, I have to say, uh, with the air conditioning on, it's nice and cold and comfy in here. Uh, even though it's very hot outside. Well, it's just turned 25 degrees Celsius outside, but the comfort level in this mode is the best. Okay, that was the first test. Uh, 211 watt per kilometer. And also, I checked the, the temperature in the app. So, um, I also want to know uh, how hot or cold it, it is. So uh, the car reports 23 degrees Celsius. Yeah, so we're gonna look at that too. And now for the second test. So I used this trick before, uh, which is to uh, force the compressor off. Now in this mode, uh, we only get air circulation from outside. So um, the air inside here cannot be uh, colder than the ambient temperature. So. Um, Yes, the app reported 23 degrees Celsius. We have to wait a bit. Uh, actually, I should open the windows to uh, to get some uh, some of that hot air inside to mix. Uh, I'm gonna wait a bit, and then uh, off we go to do the second test. Oh, okay. Uh, we've been here a couple of minutes, and the car reports 26 degrees Celsius. So you know what? I'm gonna increase the fan speed to six. Yeah, to get some better airflow here. Uh, so that will consume some more energy, but not as much as when we use the air air, the air condition compressor. So, right, off we go then. Okay, you know what, the temperature still says 26 degrees Celsius inside here, but right now, uh, the angle of the sun is in a good position, so I don't get sun in my face. So, even 26 degrees Celsius, is it's bearable for me. But I guess if I get the sun from the side here, then that will be very hot. Oh man, uh, on the way back now, the temperature has increased to 27 degrees Celsius and we also get the sun from that direction, so yeah, the comfort is not the best. It was way better with air conditioning on, but uh, it seems like we uh, save some energy, so the question is how much energy do we save, so we shall find out soon. Oh, you know, it's still 27 degrees Celsius inside, but um, it's too hot there for me. So I'm going to increase the temperature uh, fan speed to 8, from 6 to 8. Oh yes, that's better. Alright, so we are back here and uh, the trip meter says 201 only. So that's about 5% lower consumption than the first test. But uh, the temperature has increased to 28 degrees Celsius. So, oh. 
So let's just turn off the climate control and crack open the windows. Uh, we, I think we have to, we need about this, this much, about halfway. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, this wouldn't be enough or, hmm. Well, I can, I can figure out when I start driving, but um, yeah. I don't think we're gonna have it all the way open. Let's say I just, how much is this? One, one third open, roughly, yeah, on each side. All right. Oh, what? Uh, as expected, in this mode, it is very noisy inside because we have all this air blowing. But I figure that I can raise, um, I raise it to about here. So now we have about 10 centimeters opening. So that seems to be enough for airflow to uh, have a nice and comfortable temperature inside here. We are on our way back now, and you see the wind noise is very loud. It's almost unbearable, but on the other hand, the comfort level in this mode is better than the previous one, because we have better airflow here. Lots of airflow. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and the temperature inside, the car reports 27 degrees Celsius, so the temperature is also slightly lower than with that uh, previous mode. So, uh, but in the end, we need to see how high the consumption is. Okay, the result of the third test is 204. So as expected, we consume more energy than the previous one where the windows were up, despite that we had to use some energy in order to keep the fans running. So this was pretty interesting. Now comfort level wise, I think this one is about the same as when the windows is up, uh, at least for temperature, but noise, yeah, that's a problem. So uh, if I had to choose, I would go with test number two, uh, with AC off, but the windows up. So now we're gonna drive at 70 kilometers per hour and see what the difference is then. So now we go back to use the air conditioning again, windows up and yeah. Okay, you know what, uh, before I go on the next set of tests, uh, I've been idling here for about 10 minutes and I took some phone calls. Uh, the reason for that is that I want to, um, I want to bring the temperature down. So uh, the car reports 25 degrees Celsius now. That is two degrees Celsius higher than when, when I did the first test. Um, it could be because now we have more sun in here and also temperature outside is higher, but um, I want to get the temperature down to the desired temperature before I go on the run because if I just turn on the air conditioning and then start driving then the car will consume way more than you know normal to to stabilize the temperature so we want the temperature to be st stable first and then uh, because now when we do the test uh, the car only needs to consume the energy needed to maintain that temperature so um right, I think we're good to go now so now I do the slow test, 70 kilometers per hour. Everyone and their mother is overtaking me. So, but that's fine. We're just, we're just doing this for the test purpose. So, um, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is to simulate like um, uh, urban driving. Yeah, in this mix of city and whatever. So uh, the consumption should be lower, but uh, how low will it be? <laughs> we shall see. All right, so 161 watt per kilometer, that is pretty low, you know? On a full charge, I can get about 500 kilometers. Yeah, but that was at 70 kilometers per hour. But uh, all right, so let's switch off the AC compressor and then crank up the fan speed. Oh yeah, what a nice, lovely day. Being hammered by fossils, no! Oh yes, as expected, the consumption was lower in this test, 153 only. Uh, but the temperature inside the car is now 30 degrees Celsius, so uh, let's crack open the windows, turn off climate control. Uh, okay, I'm not sure how, how high I need to have them. I get the feeling I have to have you know, slightly higher, open them wider than before, because the speed is lower. Uh, yeah, but all right, let's go for the last test. Oh, you know what? Uh, see, I only have to open it like like a fist length opening. Uh, that is sufficient for uh, good enough airflow. And uh, I see on the app that it was 30 degrees Celsius when it started, 
and now we dropped to 28 so um, but the sun is back there so this is really good condition it's going to be worse once we turn back and go here so uh, maybe on the return I have to open this more we'll see but right now it's pretty nice and good in here the go to sound level is higher but it's not as high as when I drove at 100 kilometers per hour so this is bearable Okay, I see now, as expected, the temperature is rising. It was 26 at the lowest, now it's 28 because we are heading against the sun. And you know, the Model X has rear windows tinted. Uh, so on the way here, the other direction, we, we took advantage of that tinting. But now, those tinting doesn't do anything. So um, in Norway, we are not allowed to tint these windows and the front windscreen, obviously. So I guess uh, the result could be different if you you can tint your side windows. Whoa! Yeah. But the question is, <laughs> I'm dying to know what will the consumption be? We are finally back at the starting point and then, um, all right. So you know, at the high speed test, test number two was the best one. Uh, with the windows up and air conditioning, well, uh, climate on but compressor off. So, in theory, you know, if we drive slower, then we have less drag from the windows, right? So, which one is the best for the low speed test? Well, it turns out that the last test here is the best one for consumption. So, um, yes, that confirms, you know, the theory that at lower speed, you should crack open the windows. Then you get less drag because, uh, I mean, then you get some drag, but it's still okay because, um, the fans, when you run the fans in the car, you consume some energy. As you, there's some power, uh, I think around like 100 watts or maybe, we don't know how much. Um, but uh, yeah, interesting. So if you need to do some hypermiling, then the pro tip is you crack the windows open. Yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty fun. But oh, let's op oh, turn on the air conditioning now. Oh, yes. Come on. And then he had to start the engine. Okay, let's close this one. Oh, so that was uh, pretty interesting. Hmm. And how was this compared to uh, the Mistbusters test? Well, I don't know. Huh. So I guess, yeah, this was my test at least. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, and if it was useful or not, we don't know. But uh, <laughs> that's it for now then.